Hey guys, Ian here. Just wrapped up installing the uh, Rotopack carrier on the tailgate of the truck and figured, you know, no better time than now to go through the gear tray. I've uh, got a lot of questions. How's it made? What's going on with it? And so let's get to it. All right. So right now uh, it's fully inserted into the back of the truck uh, in that bay where the spare tire would normally live. We do have a lip on the back of the plate so this lip works just like the factory part and it locks into this top here so that way you can lock it fully open um, that's been that was something i wanted to make sure i kept with it so one of the features that's new to this revision of gear tray and i'm really happy that somebody brought it up so you just loosen the factory you reuse the factory uh, i don't know bolts and all you have to do now, there's a little slot in here, you can pull, I'm gonna have to pull evenly and try to do this with one hand, so. You can pull it out and it makes the stuff on the end much more accessible. And so there's just a slot cut in it. And I just use rubber, just this one singular bungee is enough to keep all this stuff packed back in here. That was kind of the point of adding this lip here down the side and uh, so I keep come along in here, I keep all my recovery gear, I keep my air compressor, uh, I have an extension for my scissor jack just because it won't work otherwise. Um, I keep straps for my spare tire if I want to throw it up on the roof rack, I've got tie downs for my awning, torque wrench, a little hand saw for some brush, um, we've got a little bit of everything. Now if you need to, you can unthread the factory bolts. This is not, not a typical application for myself, but I did want to make sure that it did exist. So uh, you can take the factory bolts all the way out. Let's toss one over there. Take this one out too, if I can get to it. Apparently I can. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm gonna take this one out as well. I need to speed the footage up. You guys can watch me struggle to get this to uh, unthread. There we go. Okay, toss those out. Now we're going to go ahead and pull it all the way out of the trunk. I shouldn't say all the way out, rather just pull it out and lock it in. So, slid it out the rest of the way flip the camera back around so you guys can see that. So now we're out all the way. It's fully out. It's resting on the lip. We've got, you could, if you really wanted, you could put additional bungees just over top of things. Um, so I have, there's these little tiny holes hiding all the way in the back. Now they're cut. So that way it lines up nicely with the factory holes when it's fully extended. You might say, well, why would you need that? Um, I'll be honest. The only thing I could think that I would want to do that for was maybe if I had uh, if I had a rifle or a fishing pole, something like that, and I didn't want to leave it inside the cab. You get, uh, with this thing fully extended, it's a, I think it's about 54 inches to the back. Uh, so from the back of the deck there, you can't really see too well back in here, but uh, yeah, so you get to go from all the way back there to here and you get it's about eight inches of space and in height and you could easily slide uh, a rifle case in there and then it's not in the truck it's not in anything so all right so we have the gear tray fully installed and got it in locked out position just went over uh, some of the different use cases for it like i said i can kind of see here i've got a bit of everything tossed in uh, but it works it works holds it well and it's very accessible, which I'm happy about that. And then if you want to put everything back in, uh, obviously you've got to take this bolt out here. So that way I can push it in. And so now pretty much shove the plate back in and you are good to go. Um, I think it's a, can't really see me so we'll flip the camera back around but uh, it's definitely a good addition it gives you a lot of space down either side and if you have 
bigger than stock tires, your spare is not going to do you any good anyways. So, uh, you know, finding another way to just maximize this space is great. The Ridgeline's already got tons of space. I mean, you've got your trunk, you've got a lot of really clever features to the truck. And uh, I think this just helps maxim maximize that. So either way, thanks for watching the uh, video on the gear tray. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. And we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And you guys have a great one. Bye.